All right, guys, today I just want to do a quick overview, first impressions on this, the Bells of Steel Hero Bench, which I'm just going to record on my phone. That way I can just give it more of a raw, uncut video. They're really selling this bench as being super heavy duty, which I can attest to it is. It weighs 86 pounds, 30 pounds of which are actually the pad, which is huge. It's a 14 inch wide pad. It is marketed as having a kind of nice grippy upholstery on here. Grippy enough where it's getting some kind of dust and other stuff on here. It's thicker as well, just about four inches. It does come with this laser cut nameplate on here, which is a nice touch. However, this bench is a, what I would consider traditional, I'm just gonna call it a double flat foot bench. So oftentimes I talk about how I like the tripod bench design better. That's because when you're benching and setting your feet up in, sometimes you can have the tendency to hit these feet right here. I will say on this one, the saving grace is that when you take a look at it from above, you'll notice that they don't stick out any further. So you can't actually see them. So that's a, a plus in that regard because oftentimes when you're dealing with other flat benches like this, you'll have stuff that's really kind of set out there. And from here, what you'll also notice is that it's slightly offset by about an inch. So it doesn't fully come the full way out. So I do still find I hit my heels on this when setting up for bench. However, it's not as evident as in other benches. You'll also notice here that it does have a handle on it which is a nice touch, again, being the fact that this is 86 inches or 86 pounds in weight. It's heavier, it makes it moving, pretty simple. It does have wheels on it, and it does come with a rubber stopper on the back. So that way, if you don't want to store it in this position, you simply grab the handle, lift it up, and it is now stored upright. So that could potentially also be a big selling point. You'll see again, stapled upholstery on there. Pretty nice overall construction on this overall. I mentioned the upholstery itself is a grippy material, which I somewhat agree with. So this is grippier than you'll find on a lot of other standard benches. However, it, it isn't necessarily super grippy. Uh, it's dense. I don't think you'll have a problem benching. It's better than a lot of the other budget-friendly benches out there. However, it's not as good as something like this, which may look somewhat similar, and again, it tends to catch a lot of stuff, but this is actually more of like a rubber material. So you get a really good stick with this one. Uh, overall though, pretty good. Now, my impressions again, are also gonna deal with the price on this thing. So it retails for $325 shipped, which I feel like is pretty high. And I am concerned with the price point for a Bells of Steel product. No shade to Bells of Steel, but typically I recommend them to people because you can save money. In fact, they have this standard tripod design for about $100 less, as well as probably the main competition in this space, which what I would say is the Rep Fitness FB5000, which I've done a review on. Again, around $100 less. So why might you want this bench over those ones? I think the biggest reasons is, number one, the heft of it. Again, even something like the Rep Fitness version, this is almost 20 pounds heavier. So it's going to be more sturdy in that regard. And the fact that maybe you might not like the tripod design. In theory, in benching, the tripod is better for me just because your feet don't hit the feet of the bench. But if you plan on using this bench for a lot of different things, which a lot of home gym people will do, the tripod design leads to a less stable overall design. So if you're doing things like barbell hip thrusts and you're pushing up against this pad, this bench will not move, whereas a tripod bench might. Or if you're doing things like dumbbell step-ups, Put your foot right here, step right up. Really simple and easy to do here. This thing is not going anywhere. So overall, it is decent if you're looking for something like this, but the big caveat again is, are you willing to spend about 80 to $100 more on something that's heavier and more stout? Or do you wanna go with something from Bells of Steel like their other bench for less money or the rep fitness version? with the tripod design. I'll leave that one up to you and I'll probably cover it more in an actual review video and not just something shot on my phone, but I wanted to get this out and just get some first impressions down. Let me know what comments you have in the comment and question section below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.